Hello everyone, and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. My name is James, and I offer digital solutions to assist people to earn money online. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to use Canva in its complete tutorial. If you've never used it before, watch this video exclusively. If you are terrible at using software such as Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, this video will dramatically transform your life. Before I begin, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. So let's get started right away. Let me first give you a brief introduction to Canva. Canva is a free graphic design tool that you can use on both their website and your own mobile phone with their app, available for both Android and iOS. Some of us complain that we don't have a laptop, and even some of us who do have laptops struggle to use programs like Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, so Canva is here to help. What can you do? Using Canva, you can easily create invitations, business cards, flyers, lesson plans, Zoom backgrounds, and more using professionally designed templates. You can even upload your own photos and add them to Canva's templates using a drag-and-drop interface. I believe that this introduction is sufficient for you to begin with. Everything else will become clear when you begin to use them. Let us now proceed to the pricing section. There are three pricing options for Canva, free, pro, and team members. The third option, team members, is not worth discussing. So let us simply talk about the first two, the free version of Canva. This plan, as the name suggests, is completely free. While Canva's free version only allows you to work with pre-designed Canva templates only, whereas Canva Pro allows you to build fully customizable templates. Canva Pro offers a variety of tools and templates. Canva Pro members have access to over 60 million high-quality stock pictures, drawings, and vectors, and free users have access to slightly more than 1 million. Canva Pro will cost you $119.99. However, these price are annually if you look at the monthly price it's $12.99. They also provides 30 days free trial. So, if you're just getting started, I recommend using the free edition primarily. Once you've become used to Canva and have a lot of work, you may subscribe to Canva Pro. However, it is entirely up to you what you desire, as long as it is related to your business. Personally, like I indicated in the last video, my favorite is Canva Pro. I really appreciate the background remover feature because it removes the background from an image in seconds. I'll include a link to the description box so you can create an account and start using them. To begin working on Canva, we must first register an account. So, click on Sign Up, and a new pop-up window will appear, where you may sign up using your Google account, Facebook account, or email address. It's entirely up to you. Canva will ask you a few questions after you join up. Join your colleagues on these teams. You can select maybe later. Then it will ask you why you want to use Canva. You can select this based on your own preferences. I'm going with personal. Then it will ask you what kind of design you would like to make. You must select any three, and then it is finished. Your account has been created successfully. The home button can be found on the dashboard. If you click the home button, you will be taken to the home dashboard. Below home is template, in which you can explore too many things, so many templates are available in the free version also. Next is project. Anything you create and save will be added to this option automatically. After that, in the tools section, you can see a brand option where you can create your brand color or whatever goes with your brand theme. Below that is a content planner where you can plan your work schedule. However, you can see a golden crown in front of all options because these are pro version features that you can only use in the pro version. The next feature is Smart Mockup, which allows you to create mockups. There are numerous categories in Smart Mockup as well. Now, if you look at the top menu, you will notice a numerous of templates in the Design Spolite option. These are all ready-made templates. All you have to do is insert your design into these templates. One thing I want to make clear is that there are more subcategories available for the templates than you can see here. Lots of things to explore here. Following that, there are options for business, education, and learning. You can explore each of these independently and read the blogs that are available in each of these options. The final option is the plan and pricing, which I already described to you earlier. You can search for anything in the search bar, such as templates for Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. It's very simple. Guys, I can only teach you the basics. You must explore the tools on your own to create great design. I can teach you whatever you need to know. You can achieve so much if you explore the Canva tool. If you do not explore the tool, you will miss out on many opportunities. Therefore, exploration is highly recommended. Now let us move on to the profile picture. Here you will find account settings, which you can update. You can get help, and if you refer a friend, you will receive benefits. Now I'll make a design. As you can see, Canva will suggest some templates. But I'll make a custom size, let's take 1000 by 1000. You can change the unit from here, but I'm using the default pixels. You can also lock your size from here so that it does not change again. Your blank Canva is open, you can change the name of your file from here, I'm naming it example. On the side, you can see that Canva is suggesting templates based on our size. You can choose any template from this list. Make sure you don't choose the ones with a golden crown in front of them. 
Only Canva Pro users can use them. Let's pick a template for designing an Instagram post. I'm going with this one. Here's our design. You can now experiment with the design by changing the color fonts and adding design elements. Let's look at this template tab first. Here, you can search for any template. It also has a filter that lets you select any language or color. For example, if you select red, it will show all templates in that color. You can select from the suggested keywords as well as fashion, education, and wedding. For example, if I click on fashion, it will display all fashion-related posts. Now that I've clicked on this post, it appears on Canva. The next option is element. You can use a variety of elements such as circles, squares, and graphics. You can also search for your elements using the search bar, as shown here. It suggests categories such as shapes, graphics, stickers, photos, and charts. There are too many of them. For example, if you click on shapes, it will display all ready-made shapes for you to use. You can go as far as you want here. There are numerous elements. Again, you must explore all of them in order to create the best design possible. I'm only showing you the path. You must find your own destiny. If I click on stickers, it will show you stickers. There are many stickers available, including social media stickers and the very popular stickers such as like and subscribe YouTube stickers. You can also click the like and subscribe buttons on this video which will take one minute. Then comes upload. If you have an image, logo, video, or audio, you can upload it here and implement it into your design. Additionally, you can upload files from Dropbox, Google Photos, Facebook, Instagram, and Google Drive. From here, you can also record yourself. That after it is text. You can get the ready-made text from here. For example, I'll use this heading. You can now change the font of this text, and you can change the color of the text from here. However, apart from that, you can change the size and align the text. You can also implement effects into the text. There are lots of options that you can explore individually. The next option is styles, which already has a preset option in the menu. You can choose any of these styles, and it will change the font's color and style based on the style theme. For example, if you use this style right now, you can see how the font and color change. Every time you click, the color present in style changes. It's a really cool feature. Then you have more options in this section, where you can see photos, videos, audio, and backgrounds. In photo, you can use an existing stock photo from Canva or search for one that fits your theme. Some of them are also suggested by it. For example, if I click on this, it will display all photos associated with this word. Following that is video, which is similar to photo in that it contains preloaded video that you can use to create your own videos. Then there's the background. You can select a pre-installed background from this menu. It already has many backgrounds, and you can choose any of them. Guys, I won't go into detail because you can see that they are all similar and that there isn't much to explain. Instead, you can research these options on your own. I want to sincerely apologize for having to remind you each time that you must explore on your own. If I explain everything in detail, the video will become very long and the motive of this video is to explain Canva in less time. I hope you understand. And as you can see here, there are additional options such as QR Generator, Google Drive, YouTube, Emoji, and so on. Guys, don't worry about them because they aren't necessary for you at the start. I'll make a separate video about them. So far, we've covered everything in the video. Now, I'll move on to the final point, but before I do, I'd like to point out something important that you must use every time you make a design. If you look at the top menu, when you click on File, you'll notice a Ruler and Guides option, you must use this while creating your design. It will assist you in creating designs in an organized manner. Let us now proceed to the final step. When you click on an image in Canva, you will see an image option at the top, where you can change the brightness, contrast, saturation, and other settings. You can also remove the image's background. It is only one click work, and it is very clean and perfect. When you scroll down, you will see filters. You can use any filter to modify your image, and then you will see smart objects. You can also put this image in these smart objects, and there are many other things to explore. Your image can also be animated, let's see how that works. You can choose from a variety of animation options available here and explore them all. Your image can be flipped both horizontally and vertically. Moreover, you can crop your picture. Finally, when you right-click on an image, you can see a plenty of options such as copy, paste, group, move image forward, backward, bring to front, animate, and so on. I hope this tutorial has helped you understand Canva. As I said before, if you explore this tool, you can create very beautiful designs and earn $100 per day. I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. This will give me more confidence to make more informative videos for you.